Welcome back everyone to another Grand Theft Auto 5 video and in today's video I will be showing you guys how you can actually win the Pontiac vehicle on your first attempt in GTA 5 Online. So just starting off with all the requirements for this one the first thing you're going to want to do is go into an invite only. I'll explain later in the video the main reason why you need to go into one but mainly it has to do with not saving the game. And so in order to go into an invite only, all you gotta do is press options, go to online, go to find new session, and then go to invite only session. As for your second requirement, what you're going to want to do is you actually want to use a controller. Now, the reason why you want to use the controller is because on the podium wheel, when you spin the wheel, if you actually use a joystick, you can actually control the speed of how fast you spin it. But if you're using a keyboard, you can only go one certain speed. So for this one, you're going to need a controller, which is not an issue for console players. This one is mainly for PC players. So in order to do that, all you gotta do is take any controller you want to, whether it's a PlayStation, Xbox controller, Nintendo Switch controller, really any controller with a joystick will work for this one. And then you got either Bluetooth it to your computer, or you can actually just plug it in through USB, and you should be able to use it as well. And so from here, once you have that requirement out of the way, you are now good to go for the entire method. So just explaining the invite only session real quick. So the main reason for the invite only session is because on the podium wheel, what you're going to notice is that it's pointing out the clothing, the vehicle is two slots to the left, and the $20,000 is two slots to the right. In order for this method to work, you need to be at this exact position in which this will always be there for an invite only. But in a public session, there's a slight chance someone's already spun the wheel, so it could be an entirely different order and would just mess everything up. And then of course, the second reason really is the way the game saves is a bit different. So that's the reason why we need to go into an invite only rather than a public session. And so at this point on, once you have all the requirements out of the way, you are now good for the entire method. So from here, what we're going to go ahead and do is actually switch to a point of view where I not only show you how I got this my first attempt, but also exactly how I did it with a view of my controller. And so let's just go ahead and cut to that now. All right, so we're over here at the podium wheel now, and you can see here on the bottom right hand corner is a view of my PlayStation 5 controller. So what I try to do for this one is slowly, very slowly pull the joystick down. Doing this causes the wheel to spin slowly and gives you a very, very high chance of actually winning the vehicle. So you can see here, for example, I was able to win the podium vehicle just like that by spinning the wheel slow. Now, for some reason, you don't manage to get this on your first attempt, which is totally fine. What you guys actually want to go ahead and do is force close the game out before the wheel actually stops spinning. So you can see here, for PC players, I just closed out the game using the Steam Launcher. And for console players, just close the application out before the wheel stops spinning. And then doing this should actually let you spin the wheel again when you load back into the game. And there you guys go. That is basically all you want to do for this method. And so there you guys go. That's going to be it for today's video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. And if you did, feel free to like and subscribe for more GTA 5 videos and content just like this. And with that being said, you guys have a great one. Stay safe out there. And goodbye.